Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a 41 Willys. Look at this beauty. Hot Wheels released a lot of these cool Willys drag cars and this is one of the less desirable ones. This one just had HW on the side of it. Here's another example of one. Here's a wild Willy. I don't plan on doing anything with that. That looks beautiful as it is. Even with the wheels. I don't care man. She's nice. So my plan today is to take this car and we're gonna make it look a little bit more like this car, except I think it's gonna be green. But I plan on doing like a similar graphic. But uh, we'll see how she goes. Before we get to work here, there's one cool thing about these Willys cars that I should mention. Some people probably don't know this. Most of you probably do, but check this out. When you get to the underside of the car, you can unhook a wheelie bar. Gleek, 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 gleek. Wild Willie's got a gray one here. Gleek, 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 gleek. So that's pretty cool. I'd imagine there's a bunch of these cars where those are broken off. So I would, uh, yeah, if you got one, have a look. I'm going to leave this one here as always because that thing's badass. So this has the potential to be an awesome, awesome car. Our black details here, I want, I'm going to make those chrome. On the back here, we got a bunch of punch plate, which would look real good in aluminum. We got dual parachutes and then further inspection, we got more punch plate down there. So that could be painted like an aluminum color as well. So all that could make for a pretty cool back end. So if we can tie that together with a nice paint job, then we should have a real cool car. You can see how bad the casting lines are on this thing already. So we got a little bit of filing today. We're going to want to make that all smooth, but for now, why don't we get the car apart? I'm going to try to be extra nice to this thing because I, I like it. I think it's going to be a real cool car. If we can do it cleanly. Never really got to see inside one of these before. It's a little single seater. So then all our pipes are attached to our base. Huh, I wasn't really expecting that. All right, we can deal with that. Very nice, typical windshield. So before we get too crazy, we'll get some wheels put on this thing. And I think this is my last pair of these wicked BF Goodrich. But these are gonna look pretty legit on there, but we're gonna have to So, now that that is chopped, is that going to fit in our tube? Of course it is. Oh, beautiful. A little wheel swap sure makes a big difference, hey? Gleek, 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 gleek. Look at that thing. The whole vibe of this machine has changed. There's some pretty glossy paint on this one, so it might take a second. Well, this thing needs all kinds of work. This front end looks like it's stitched together. <laughs> Alright, so why don't we head over to the spray booth. And we'll hit this with a little bit of electric green. She should be looking real good. And we'll come back and then we'll start doing a little bit of extra graphics on here. And we'll just do some freestyle taping. Okay, so let's go back to the spray booth. So this is where we ended up, and to be honest, I hate it. I think every time I use this color, I'm tricked because I think it's going to end up the same color as the bottle, but it always comes out a little bit lighter, and it almost looks like a Ninja Turtle ooze color. So I'm not really feeling this. I wanted something a little bit darker, so I'm going to strip it again, and then I think we're going to come back and we're going to do some sort of candy mixture, and it's going to look similar, but just a little bit darker, okay? So let me strip it, and then I'll meet you back in the paint booth.
There we go, that's what I was going for. Got rid of that mutant ooze color. The cool thing about the candies is you can kind of control how dark it's gonna be. So you guys saw, I must have put like 15 coats on this, but that's what kind of gives it its depth. Typically we're pretty safe taping on top of the candy, but I don't think I'm gonna risk it. So I'm gonna go do a little clear coat right now, just to kind of seal this up and protect it. And then we'll uh, move on to doing some striping. I was just doing a little bit of sanding on our engine here, trying to remove the seam that runs down the center of our blower intake I'm gonna get that nice and flat before I hit her with the Molotow pen beautiful man you know what while we're here I'm gonna do this pan since it's, it's right in my face why not have a big chrome oil pan? Gleek, gleek, gleek. Hell yeah, I'm gonna throw that in our paint oven. We'll get that cured up. Uh, since I'm set up here, I might as well do our motor. Beautiful. I mean, it looks like legit metal when you brush it. When you brush it on there nice and heavy. All right, so here's our car. After a little clear coat, she's absolutely beautiful. So I kind of started without you guys a little bit. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. I lightly scuffed our little behind back here in the door and a little bit on the fenders. So I'm basically gonna go for the same design that Hot Wheels did, but I'm gonna put our kind of spin on it. I think I got a good plan in place now, so. Next step is execution. Let's see if we can do a real nice. Beautiful. Let's see you do that with masking tape. And we'll curve this baby back up, up into a nice point. It looks like a good start. I'm gonna do this exact pattern on the other side, hopefully. <laughs> and then, uh, I think we'll be able to spray a little bit of color in there. I've kind of dived into doing the uh, the masking job now. Do you guys like masking? I enjoy masking. I find it therapeutic. Understand some people could probably get frustrated with it, but I enjoy it. All right, so I'm gonna keep taping this up. I'll get it ready for paint, and then I guess we'll head back to the old spray booth and try spraying a little silver on here. And so here, I was thinking I was gonna just mist in a little bit of charcoal just so you faintly get these darker stripes on top of the silver. This looks like a big mess right now. Oh, it's gonna be crazy if it looks good. So one of my patron members is firing up a new YouTube channel. His first video was a custom van, which I know a lot of you guys would like. It's got a good speaking voice. It's got a good video, it's got good audio. So I got high hopes for this channel. I'll leave a link for his custom van video right up here and uh yeah you guys go check it out it's one of my homies from my patron group all right so now i gotta do the same crazy tape job on the other side boy this thing's so shiny it's just hard to film at any angle
Well, it is possible we might be getting too ambitious with this paint job, so I think maybe we should start throwing on a couple of decals and we'll see where this thing ends up. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad right there. I'm going to put down a little bit of microsol right on that G to make sure it really, really slurps into that corner. Do the whole thing and this will be ready to go in a bit. We used to call a guy a Sudsy at work. What a lunatic. Absolute lunatic that guy. Just want to throw on just a few more little decals kind of around the bottom around the skirt. Go some Keith Black pistons. Keith Black. Probably do one more down in that corner and we'll call her good for this side. Definitely learned a few things with painting today. It was, uh, it's really not that easy. I'm trying to do graphics. Hey man. Sweet. Glig, 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 glig. She's looking cool now. Once we get a nice clear coat on there and that little color really comes out, that black will be black. Those charcoals should be nice and sparkly. I think she's gonna look real good. So, I'm gonna flip her around and I'm gonna do this exact same decal package. I'm using a couple of uh, round silver vinyls just to do these headlights. Trying to come up with new ways of doing headlights where I'm not painting them by hand. Decals seems to be okay, but stenciling is a little bit of a problem. So doing a headlight vinyls might be a way to go. I don't know. Just tossing that out there. It looks just like that paint I just put on, right? Well, I am in the mood to do a little clear coating. So I'm going to go put this in the paint oven for a bit and let these decals evaporate completely. And I'm going to throw a little clear coat on this bad boy and then I just got to detail the parachutes and I think we can do an assembly. This is going to be epic. I can't wait. Well, I think this is going to do it for this build. It's my last detail I wanted to do. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do an assembly now and we'll have a look at this thing. All right, it's going to be sweet. Well, there it is, folks. There's our version of the Green Hornet Willies. Check it out. I think she turned out pretty sweet. I wasn't too sure about what I was doing with the paint with like the hornet butt scenario, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. Putting on a bunch of decals kind of helps mix it up a little bit. Hell yeah, man. It was worth it. She's a beauty. Put her on the shelf. Look at that thing. Woo. Hell yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one.